to my channel as you all know this is Benny Omo Edo if you're new to this channel please do not forget to subscribe to support Benny Omo Edo and for the earth subscriber thank you so much for being there I really appreciate you guys so guys today's video is uh, so different like a friend of mine my colleague actually request this video like oh Benny I miss your Nigeria jollof rice can you please make a video and send to me I decided to post it on my YouTube page there are some people who this video might be useful for so guys i will be taking you straight to the recipe i'm going to be using today for this nigeria jollof rice yes guys these are the ingredients i will be using today for my jollof rice as you can see i have four medium size of fresh tomatoes i have a uh, tomato paste i might be using three to four tablespoons of this tomato paste i have my bear leaf here two bay leaves guys i have my seasoning uh, cube you can use any one of your choice guys and i have sweet corn this one is optional guys you can skip it if you don't like it i'll be using just little in there the remaining one will go to my salad why i have this four bell pepper here guys i have three medium size of onions i will use this one i will be blending this one with my tomatoes while i use this onions to fry my stew this one will go for the garnishing of the jollof rice after cooking the same thing go with the green pepper this tom uh, carrot guys i will be using a little part of it to garnish my jollof rice while the remaining one will go in my salad is optional guys you can skip it if you don't like it i have salt to taste here and i have curry powder guys i have ginger and garlic here i will not be using it to cook my jollof rice because already i used the enough of it to steam my chicken guys i have pepper here um i will recommend fresh pepper if you have because i don't have the fresh pepper so i will be using the dry one just little you of it because my husband do not like spicy food <laughs> then i have my rice here guys this is the rice i want to be using today so guys in the blender here i have the uh, tomatoes uh bell pepper and onions blend together so guys i have my oil in the pot is already hot so what i'm going to do i will just pour these onions inside so guys, I'll just keep stirring my thin tomatoes inside. So guys, we'll keep stirring the tomatoes uh, paste to get rid of that sour taste. Yes guys, you can see that beautiful color of the tomatoes guys. In this recipe, I didn't add any artificial color to make my jollof rice red. So now that my tomatoes is well cooked, I will just go ahead and pour the fresh tomatoes, bell pepper and onions blended together. See guys, what I'm doing now is to mix all together and cover the tomatoes to cook to remove all the sour taste and drill up the water at the same time. Do not forget to open time to time and stir your tomatoes together to avoid burning. So guys, at this point, you still have to leave it to cook. Your, the sweetness of your jollof rice depends on how you fry your tomatoes, guys. If your tomatoes is well cooked, trust me, that jollof rice will come out so sweet, guys. So now I will still cover to let it cook for some minutes to dry off the, the water as well. So guys, at this point, I've added my curry, bay leaf, margin, and salt to taste. So guys, you can see the difference between before and after guys. Now that our stew is well cooked, I will just go ahead and add my chicken stew. So I will just go ahead and add it inside my uh, tomatoes and mix it together. So guys, as you can see, I've been cooking this for some minutes. Now I just open and please do not forget to cook on a low heat we don't want the stew to burn before adding in our rice and please i will advise you when you're cooking jollof rice please feel free to use wooden spoon if you have in short i use wooden spoon for all my cooking i love wooden spoon so much so i will just go ahead and add in my rice now i already washed my rice so guys now that i have my rice in the pot i will just go ahead and mix it together with my wooden spoon guys i love this wooden spoon so much like so you can see how rich our jollof rice is guys this is what we want oh i can't wait for the finishing of this rice so you can just test it from the camera guys <laughs> this is really rich guys 
so guys at this point the rice is well mixed i will just go ahead and cover it to let it cook for two minutes then i will open and cover it with my foil paper to make sure the rice is well cooked with enough heat guys because i'm not adding any water to it i will use the heat to finish off the cooking guys just seal it with the uh, with the foil paper or if you have a kitchen paper you can feel free to use that so guys our rice have been cooking for some time now i will just go ahead and open so we can stir it together so guys at this point i will open my rice and check on it again as you can see this is beautiful guys beautiful color and it's so yummy as you can see in the camera guys is well done guys oh my god did you see the beautiful color the secret is oh the tomato paste and the bell pepper guys i didn't add any artificial color on my jollof rice guys did you see that beautiful color trust me if you follow this recipe your rice is going to come out looking sweet and yummy like this so i'll just go ahead and add my vegetable my garnish vegetable to finish up the process at this point i already turned off my heat i will just uh, turn this rice then we are ready to serve wow this is perfect so guys if you like the way i make this rice do not forget to leave it in the comment section below did you see how beautiful the color is guys and the rice is not sticking together at all and is well cooked delicious yummy guys oh my god so guys the way i made this salad i'm going to be leaving the link in the description box below so you can check it out